Good evening. This is Suffrages for July 27th. A reading from the letter attributed to James, chapter 13, uh, 3, verse 13. Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness born of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. For where there is envy and selfish ambition, there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving health again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Beloved and sovereign God, through the death and resurrection of your Son, you bring us into your kingdom of justice and mercy. By your Spirit, give us your wisdom, that we may treasure the life that comes from Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for joining me in prayer. I hope you'll do so again. We pray three times a day, morning, evening, and night. This is evening. We also have a Sunday morning service. You're invited to that. There is a link in the description below. That's at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time over Zoom. That service is recorded and also posted here on this YouTube channel. 
We also uh, have a variety of congregational events. If you'd like to know more about that, you can contact me to be part of our daily email uh, through our website. There's a link to that, and there's a link to a one way, among many, that you can support us. You can also send us a check, or you can give through the Give Plus app. All that information is in the description below. Until the next time, God bless.